Welcome to the JTAC Procedures module. This module explains how to follow the recommended procedure to open a Juniper Network Technical Assistance Center, or JTAC, support case and access support resources. This module also describes how to use the customer support website and customer support tools. Finally, this module explains how to use Secure FTP or SFTP to transfer large files to JTAC. At the end of this module, you will be able to follow the recommended procedure to open a JTAC support case, access support resources, use the customer support website, access and use customer support tools, use SFTP to transfer large files to JTAC. Juniper Networks offers support only to customers with valid maintenance contracts and customers must provide a chassis serial number when opening a support case so that their support status can be verified. Use the Show Chassis Hardware command to obtain your chassis serial number. Note, see the Support Website details at the URL displayed on the screen. Customers can open support cases using the My Juniper Customer Portal website or over the telephone. Note, you should always follow up a Priority 1 case with a phone call to JTAC, even if you have opened the case using My Juniper Customer Portal website. When you open a case, you should provide documentation of the problem or symptom by capturing the output of relevant CLI commands. You might also consider capturing the output of a Request Support Information command. This command is actually a macro that executes a large number of operational mode commands. While the output is lengthy, adding this information might prevent the need to follow up with additional command output once your case is being analyzed. Case management details and procedures are provided at the Guidelines and Policies website. This document defines case priority levels, escalation management, support levels, return material authorization or RMA handling, warranty information, and gray market inspection procedures. When you contact JTAC, a member of our support staff will work with you in assigning mutually agreeable priority levels to your problem that will be reflected in the support case opened on your behalf. There are four priority levels. Click each priority level to learn more. Juniper Networks offers systematic escalation management to customers with current service agreements. This escalation management ensures that the appropriate resources within Juniper Networks are used to resolve outstanding technical problems as efficiently as possible. If you feel the problem is not being given the appropriate level of attention, you also have the option to manually escalate your case using the Escalate This Case link on the My Juniper Customer Portal website. You will be prompted to list a reason for the manual escalation. Recommendation if the case is urgent, it is strongly recommended to call JTAC, where you will be able to speak with an escalation manager. You must have a valid support login to access Juniper Network support services over the web. Point your browser to the support website to display the login screen. Note that you can click links to request an account or to manage the passwords associated with your existing support account. Accessing the Juniper Network's support services requires a valid maintenance contract. The top of the My Juniper Customer Support Portal website is displayed. From this page, you can easily choose the Service Request Case Management tab and use links to resources for technical research. The primary research tools include the Knowledge Base, Problem Reports Database, Technical Documentation, JNet Discussion Forums, and Technical Bulletins. The page also includes a link to download software. Many customers prefer to open and manage their cases with the point-and-click ease offered by the Service Requests tab, formerly known as the Case Manager or CM tool. In addition to opening a case, the Service Requests tab provides a handy way of tracking the status of your open cases. Additional tabs available on this menu provide RMA status and so forth. The Knowledge Base, or KB, located at the Juniper Knowledge Base website provides a key support tool for researching issues or technical questions. 
This screen provides an example of a KB search using the keywords VPN configuration. You can see that the results are displayed below the search criteria in the main portion of the window. What is the Knowledge Base or KB? The content of the KB includes not only the Juniper documentation, but also custom made articles like configuration and troubleshooting guides, as well as technology white papers. It is a very useful tool when troubleshooting a problem or when trying out new complex features. The white papers and technology notes usually include full scenarios with step by step configuration guides. The KB can be searched using the KB number, keywords, or natural language queries. Finding the right query can take a few attempts. If too many results are found, it is very easy to restrict the result set on the basis of the platform or the type of information requested. For troubleshooting, KB articles, specifically solution guides, are very useful. When trying new features, both white papers or configuration examples from the documentation guide can save you a lot of time. Each KB article has an ID number that can be used to refer to it. A problem report, or PR, is the description of an issue, typically a software issue, that must be addressed by the Juniper engineering team. The life cycle of a PR is part of the Juniper software and hardware development and quality assurance processes. The steps displayed are a subset of the full PR life cycle, but the list includes the major steps. Click each step to learn more. The structure of a PR includes main fields such as number, title, release note, severity, trigger, workaround, status, and resolved in. Among the fields that compose a PR of particular interest are trigger and workaround. Together, they can help you decide the best way to minimize the impact of a software issue until the network can be upgraded to a release that is not affected. In addition to these fields, a PR can also contain a number of additional fields. The complete list is available on the help page of the PR search web interface. Click each field for its description. PRs are accessible and searchable using Juniper's web interface using either the PR number or using keywords. Website access requires a valid login. The list of open PRs affecting a given Junos release is added automatically to the version's release notes, which is constantly updated as new problems are discovered and known problems are fixed. It is best practice before a software rollout to carefully examine the open issues section in the release notes. You might avoid known problems or reduce their impact before they affect you. Keep the following tips in mind when performing a PR search. Be specific at first. Getting too many results would mean having to go through all of them, trying to understand if any of them might describe your problem. If you do not get adequate results, you can easily remove keywords to expand your search. Use log entries related to the failure. The PR index includes related log entries. Do not cut and paste from log files into the search form. Remove host names and numerical values that might be specific to your router. Search for an exact phrase by using quotes. Use the plus and minus operators to force inclusion or exclusion of keywords. The exclusion operator is the most useful because it allows you to remove unwanted entries easily. Clicking the Documentation and Tools tab at the KB Search webpage provides access to a number of helpful support tools, including Juno's VPN Configuration Tool, SRXHA Configuration Tool, iOS to Juno's Translator. Click each tool to learn more. The My Juniper Web Portal provides a self-service support experience to Juniper partners and customers. You can configure a personalized dashboard to focus on the information you care about. For example, 
You can gain insights about products and configurations by having detailed reports from Juniper's installed base records. Also, you have visibility into current technical issues and have a complete listing of your support cases readily available. You can avoid any gaps in support coverage by viewing a listing of your current Juniper Care Service contracts along with their expiration dates. You may have a need to transfer a large file to JTAC, such as a core dump file. Core files should always be submitted to JTAC for fault analysis. A file larger than 10 megabytes cannot be attached to a support request in My Juniper Portal. The recommended procedures for transferring core files to JTAC are outlined on the screen. Click the Additional Information button to learn more about transferring core files to JTAC. The procedure for uploading a large file to JTAC directly from a Junos device is displayed. You have reached the end of this module. In this module, you learn to follow the recommended procedure to open a JTAC support case, access support resources, use the customer support website, access and use customer support tools. Use SFTP to transfer large files to JTAC.